my heart is racing a million miles a minute. Like my heart is bump pumping in a bad way. Listen, I sometimes drink energy drinks. I got this one today and it's, I'm not even going to listen. Never again. You got to get off the energy drinks guys. Anyways, welcome back to Mr. Pet on you. Somebody sent me this viral TikTok and, uh, I'm gonna show you a little, like a little clips on the React. But listen, this is basically what is said to be a 14-year-old doing an Uber Eats order for Starbucks, like 44 drinks, gets paid a lot of money. He's recording himself, all these bags. And people in the comment section of that video, I'm gonna put some of those comments here, super against it. Some people saying, oh, this is great, this is bad. What is your opinion? Now, clearly he's not, he's, he's not driving, he gets in a passenger seat. He is with somebody, a parent, an older brother, sister. He's with somebody, and he obviously it's not his Uber Eats or DoorDash account. He does DoorDash as well, it looks like. But people really have a problem with a 14-year-old out here doing deliveries. And I want your opinion. Watch this clip, and we're going to talk about it. 44 drinks? Look, you guys can see 44 items here at Starbucks? How do you even think I'm going to be able to get that? Look. Four strawberries, I say lemonade, ice, brown sugar, coffee, which is four. four excuse me. I got the order uh, for Karina, which is a 44 drink. Yeah, we're still working on it, okay? Okay, hey guys, let's go and get some more drinks. Uh -huh. No, six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. Uh -huh. Thank you. House to drop off. The 44 drinks. Okay, guys, so we are gonna take the, the bags here. I had ordered 44 drinks. Okay, I'll take them. Was that it or there more? That's it. That's it? Okay. Okay, now I need the pin. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice day. See you guys in the next order. Guys, remember that order, the Starbucks one that had 44 drinks? The one that was $12 for one mile? It came out to be $61. Okay, what do you think? Give me your raw opinion. Now, I'm not, I didn't show you the whole entire video, but there's nothing you're really missing that's pertinent information, in my opinion. Find it on TikTok, you could find it. If you Google it, 14 year old delivers Starbucks, it'll pop up, okay? What do you guys think? Good move, bad move? Um, I'll, I'm gonna play both sides for a second. One. We have to, he's clearly not doing this, he's not doing this alone. Okay, you can, you can tell. So, is that a good or bad thing? Yeah, let's say, let's say bad. Is he putting himself in harm's way? Uh, should a 14 year old walk into a Starbucks and say, hey, I'm here to pick up an order. Should the Starbucks be even giving a minor the food? He's dropping it off and getting the pin numbers from the customer, going into what looked like a office building or some kind of work setting. Is that okay? Is it bad? Is there a safety issue there? Some would say yes, some would say no. Let me know in the comments below. The positive side of this. I'll share a quick story. When I was 10, 11, 12, somewhere in that range, maybe even 13, my father had a paper round. And part-time on the weekends and sometimes we would throw papers out the side of a van that we had, me and my two sisters. And we'd do it with my dad and we'd help him because that's what we needed to do. My dad had three jobs at that time, like like two jobs, like W-2, and then like he delivered pizzas, and then he did this on the side because he's he needed to do it. And so much, listen, mad respect for my pops. And it was our way we were still able to spend time with him, but he needed to get shit done. He needed to make money. A lot of families fall into that, especially in 2023. So if you have to work, but you got your kid with you, are you teaching them work ethic? Are you teaching them how to problem solve? You're with them. You're not leaving them alone. So is it bad? That could be a good thing. You're teaching work ethic, right? Um, a lot of kids nowadays don't have it. So as a parent or a brother or sister, if you're doing that, is that that's the good side of it, right? So I just wanted, what your, what's your guys' opinion of that? Now, we also have to realize this is entertainment. This could be somebody doing these deliveries and they change the voice to make it sound like a 14 year old. We all have to take everything with a grain of salt here, I guess, you know, because we don't know all the truth. This is content creation, but we're assuming it's a 14 year old doing deliveries 
under the supervision of an adult on somebody else's account because you, you can't be his account. Like, I guess it could be, but it shouldn't be, right? I mean, it's just not how it works, right? So give me your raw opinion down below in the comments. I mean, the comments in that video are all over the place. Like, oh my God, this is child labor laws. But I think those are the people thinking that a 14 year old and it's his account and Uber and DoorDash know about it. Absolutely not. I don't think that's the case. Maybe I'm wrong. It's, this is your time to tell me down below. Or, in the, or a lot of positive people saying, hey, this kid's hustling out here. He's learning work ethic. He's helping his parents, his brother, his sister. They're doing it together. There might be other circumstances to where that family has to eat. They have to eat. That kid made six, they made $66 on that, right? Great order, right? They gotta eat. Maybe his mom, dad, his brother, his sister, their legs broke or something. Or like somebody's driving them and they're doing this and they have to do it because they're put in a position for whatever reason. Can you blame them for that? I don't know. I expect to see different opinions on here and I'll be really looking forward to reading the comments and seeing what you guys think about this. And uh, there you go. And we'll break it down maybe in another video because I think there are people that um, the child safety stuff is also super important. So there's that element as well. And what roles do the apps have in that? And the merchants, the Starbucks, sees a kid coming in here and they just handing off orders to a child. Is that on? Is that bad for on Starbucks? You guys let me know in the comments below. That's all I got today. I'm out here still working, doing deliveries, staying positive, making money, grinding every single day, adapting every single day. That's what we do as side hustlers. See y'all tomorrow. I almost forgot. Check out the GigCon. Get you a ticket. Whatever. Check out what we got going on. August 4th, Denver, Colorado. You're going to want to be at this event. You're going to want to be a part of it. If you are in Denver, Colorado, don't miss out. It's going to be a great time. All kinds of giveaways, swag, prizes, free food, entertainment, all kinds of lives happening. The vibes are going to be absolutely amazing hope to see you there and drink less energy drinks listen drink more water did you know that usually when you're tired it's because you're not properly hydrated water lemon water way better for you long term than the energy drinks but if, if an energy drink wants to go out there and sponsor me you can email me and maybe i'll reconsider and change my mind If you like this video or others, check out this one here. Consider hitting subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments.